How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and in response to my Halo CE in 2018 video We're gonna do what Halo 2 is like in 2018. How's the gameplay feel? How's it feel playing in the MCC update and overall? How does this game hold up to gameplay nowadays in 2018? Let's check it out. Okay, looks like we found a match on Tombstone Which is a remake of the classic hang em high map from Halo 1 one of the greatest maps in Halo history right there for sure. So like I said, what I want to accomplish in this video is just to kind of compare and contrast one, how the game plays now with an MCC update. Also, how does this game kind of compare to, you know, games nowadays? Can, does Halo 2 still like a game worth playing or is it like its own kind of thing where you're like, you know, it, it's fun for nostalgia's sake, but is it something really with, with worth sticking with? We're going to figure it out in this video here. You know, if you think about it nowadays, that the comparison between Halo 2 to Halo 1 is an absolute insane jump in game. Because uh, one, you just basically dropped the pistol complete, which everyone knew and loved, and dropped it for the battle rifle, which is an excellent counterpart. Because um, it's an amazing weapon, and it's really fun to use and shoot and stuff like that. And it sounds amazing still, even to nowadays, like... The battle rifle, Halo, the Halo 2 battle rifle still sounds really good and it's really satisfying to shoot. Obviously the graphics were completely rehauled for Halo 2 compared to Halo 1. Halo 1, like, the graphics were, they were good for the time, don't get me wrong. But then Halo 2 came around and blew everyone away going like, wow, I didn't realize you can get this kind of graphical fidelity in an original Xbox game. Another huge thing is that a lot of the weapons from Halo 2, from Halo 1, went from projectile to hit scan, which if you guys don't know the difference, basically projectile is means that you have to lead your shots, where hit scan, you don't have to lead your shots at all. And that was a huge difference compared to Halo 1 and Halo 2. In this game, your battle rifle is a legitimate laser beam. But this shoots bullets instead. You can, as soon as you click the shots, the shooting eye guy, they're gonna hit and they're gonna hit directly on him. You don't have to lead your shots at all, which is actually kind of nice. And I feel like that's kind of probably the best way to go about for Halo, uh, for how close range the maps are and how fast paced the gameplay is. That having it as a projectile weapon uh, system, like they went back to Halo, totally different. But I'm glad in Halo 5 they went back with the. Uh, hit scan weaponry because I feel like that's the probably the best route to go for when it comes to hit detection in Halo. And this is actually my first game playing on the M the new MCC update. So I've been sinking my teeth in this pr update pretty you know well. I've been playing a lot of games. Uh, I even live streamed for quite some time about this game as well. Uh, mainly Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 Anniversary feels amazing. Like it just like the game feels like how it should have felt on launch four years ago <laughs> and now it's just like it plays how it should have which is great i love it as you can tell right here though that the uh the way the battle rifle shoots in halo 2 classic it's definitely not as accurate as like the halo 2 anniversary version or any other battle rifle for that fact from the uh 343 games the 343 version of a battle rifle is like a legitimate laser beam you can just cross map people constantly like the halo 2 battle rifle in halo 5 Oh my god, that thing is lethal. Not nearly as lethal as it is in this game, which is good. So I think it's a really good thing to add in some bullet spread to kind of add some uh, inaccuracy to the weapon. So you literally can't cross map people like you can in Halo 5. And obviously there is weapon spread in Halo 5 to kind of make it so then weapons can't be like all ut ut completely utilitary weapon weapons. It's still rather accurate. I can still hit this guy pretty easily right here if I just throw a grenade. I would get him right here. Uh, another thing to do as well as I do like about the classic Halo games, well, a big thing I actually really do enjoy about it is the, the lack of hit markers in these games. When it comes to Halo, you do not need hit markers because you get enough information on your screen to where you don't need to know everything that's happening in the map. Like you're shooting a guy, you see his shares flare up a little bit, you're like, okay, definitely made hit contacts on him like this right here. You can see his shield flaring, I was able to get that easy kill. And I can tell how much damage this guy on that guy because of the lack of hit markers. The game just ended right there, but to finish up my point, what I wanted to say is that the lack of hit markers, uh, especially on grenades, it gives players a lot less of an advantage on positioning to where it leaves a little bit more up to skill and knowledge of gameplay and map knowledge rather than just relying on redundant game mechanics. I've touched on this in a previous video as well. Beaver Creek, the classic Halo 2 map as well. Like, you know, this is one of the maps in Halo that's like, it's stuck through the time, the test of time and like, it's always being remade, remastered, redone, and like either Forge or just in matchmaking in general. It's just, it's one of those Halo maps that just plays just, just really well. 
Oh, and I got that classic noob combo right on me. Ugh. But another thing I want to touch on it for Halo 2 is, uh, comparing to Halo 1, is that the movements in this game are so much snappier and so much better. Hit detection is so much more crisp. It's just like you feel the shots that you're putting into people in this game compared to Halo 1 where it felt a little more floaty. And sometimes you were kind of like, did I put enough shots in a guy? Or sometimes I come across situations in that game where I'm like, I could have sworn I hit him, but then you didn't. Well, in this game, you definitely know when you hit somebody, which is really nice. Ah, oh, and no fall damage right there, as you can see. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, come on, live. Did we get him? Yes, we got him. Okay, good. Somehow I lived through that. That's crazy. Another thing in this game too, uh, I'm not quite sure if it's different from CE, was how the power-ups and power weapons work in this game as well. Uh, they are way more prominent in this game compared to like how they were end up being in like Halo 3 or any other ha later on Halo as well. I think it's like every 30 seconds or something like that that the power-ups spawn up after being picked up. Same thing with uh, power weapons as well that they spawn up like every 20 or 30 seconds after they drop with no ammo, which is pretty crazy. Uh, which is way different than end up being for like Halo 3, Halo 4, and Halo 5. And even Halo Reach as well. Oh my god, we're on killing spree. Here we go. And we got rockets. Let's go, fam. Ah! I missed. We're gonna get him. We can still get this guy. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh! Gotcha. There we go. There's another thing you don't really see much more in, in current Halos, but you have a teleporter right here. This is a quick way to get you from A to B. It's a really nice feature that they've had in this game. It does make uh, navigating the map a little bit more random, which can be good or bad, depending on what you want for your Halo. And, uh, but I think it was a really good addition to have for these classic Halos just because of how your movements in this game work that like it's more, it's so predictable in this game for the movements that it kind of be a little tricky when it comes to navigating a map. And plus getting from A to B it can take a little bit longer than you would expect compared to current Halos. Oh my god guys we're just tearing it up right now. We got ball time. I'm gonna grab this uh, Sniper rifle over here. Here we go. I got one kill. The aim is just kind of dragged me off there, so it kind of messed me up a little bit. Oh, we got that guy for the running riot. Let's go. Let's see how I can come around the corner here. There's one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he caught me from the side. Damn. What a champ right there. That was a good move on that guy. See, right there, that's a teleporter coming in play right there. I was not expecting the guy to come around the corner right there because, you know, I'm so used to having the mindset of how current Halos work and how the, uh, map navigation works but having that teleport there really helped you know get me out of my little spot so it's good and a, and a bad thing on my end but it was a good thing overall and lastly everybody we have the classic ivory tower remake or not remake this is the original one i'm talking about <laughs> i have another ball match it seems like with the matchmaking when it comes to the for um mcc right now that they they're put a big emphasis on variety of game modes rather than just like team slayer team objective or anything like that it's really just like, you know, you have your classic team, Halo, your team Slayer. It seems like you really just have like your classic Halo 2 playlist and it has pretty much a little bit of everything mixed in with it, which I personally enjoy because I think a lot of these great game modes like Ball, Capture the Flag, Territories, King of the Hill kind of get un underutilized because everyone just wants to play Team Slayer. Another thing I want to touch on compared for what game comparisons for uh, like Halo CE to Halo 2 is the, uh, the weapon balance is just so much better in this game. It is... Oh my god, light years better, if that even makes sense, but just like, you have so many more weapons in this game that are so much more viable, so much more fun to use, because back in C, it was just pistol or go home. And then with Halo 2, yeah, actually, there were, obviously there are some doo-doo weapons, not gonna lie, like SMGs, the Magnum in this game, pretty bad, Needler, not so great either, but a lot, there was a lot of other great weapons, like the plasma pistol became, got way buffed to where it became a noob combo. Oh my god, we just got a double kill on that, let's go guys. Oh, we got that guy coming up here, can we get this triple possibly? It's been taking too long. My team has been dominating every game. So that's one thing I think also what actually Halo 5 did a really good job on as well is that the weapon balance is pretty good in that game to where a lot of the weapons in the game are viable options. And I think that's what they three for three, uh, what Bungie really wanted to accomplish with uh, Halo 2 and they, they did just that. And it's not just about the pistol. It's not just about, you know, this kind of game or this gun. It's uh, all of these guns combined together to make a great sandbox and just an overall great game. And that's why I still think Halo 2, to this day, is one of the best multiplayer games you can play out there. It's uh, just so, it's, it's like it's accessible, and yet there's still a huge skill gap with all the button combos you can put into this game and things like that in between. That it's just, it's a great game. And it definitely still holds up, I'd say, to this day. It's still 
a new person coming to Halo 2, I still, still think could have a great time playing this game. Uh, you know, no hit, no sprint, no hit markers, no customizable classes, but just like what people are probably, you know, accustomed to nowadays, but this game, it's just like, it's just so good. The core mechanics of it is just so, it's just so great that it, you can't deny it. You can't deny just solid game mechanics, and that's exactly what Halo 2 is. And it really built the foundation for f future Halos moving forward. It was just that, it was just a really special game that Bungie was able to put together right here. And, you know, it shows. Yeah, it's, people still play it to this day. It's an amazing game. The multiplayer is awesome. In fact, people are probably still wishing they could, that, you know, Halo would go back to the classic Halo 2 day. Like, there was a lot of great things that Halo 2 did. And there was a few things that Halo 2 needed to be fixed on, but they kind of addressed that in Halo 3. Which are definitely the next video we're gonna do for this Halo game in 2018 series is we're gonna be moving over to Halo 3 for the next one and kind of compare and contrast and see what its legacy was for multiplayer app, as for multiplayer. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the video here. Overall, Halo 2 still plays really well in 2018. If you enjoyed Halo, Halo 2 is probably one of the games you're gonna be gravitating towards for that classic Halo feel. Obviously, back in the day, there were like super jumps and there were button glitches and things like that in between that kind of were cleaned up when Halo 3 came around. But I think for a, a, just a raw, true Halo experience, you gotta jump in and play some Halo 2. Yeah, obviously the graphics are quite outdated. Before the time, they were outstanding. The gameplay is snappy. It feels good to shoot weapons in this game. It just sounds, everything just sounds and just feels so great. And especially with how the game plays now after the MCC update fantastic so anyways guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it if you enjoy these kind of videos and want to see more like them please leave a like on the video let me know you want to see more content like this leave a comment down below what your experience has been with halo 2 i like to see what everyone's story is with this game because it's a very important game for the gaming community as a whole in its history and if you're new to the channel don't forget to tap subscribe to stay up to date with anything halo related on this channel guys news information gameplay everything in between because well it's awesome. I love Halo and I love making videos on it. Check out the videos on the screen. Oh. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you miss any content from me. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.